Hello everyone, in today's video we will set up a real-time character for our UI. This will allow us to preview our armor and weapons on our character in the menu. Now I will admit I put no effort into making a nice design here as I would have to redo the UI I made for the tutorial so far. So please don't mind the UI design, it's all about the functionality for this one. In order to create this we will need Unity, Game Creator and the Inventory module. However, before we start, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support. Now, in order to set this scene up, we need two things. So we need a player, you need a UI, and well, three things. You need a armor piece. Now, I didn't create any new ones, that's not the point of this tutorial. So I just copied over the armor you can find in the UI example uh, inventory example scene. So just copy that one over and that's it, just so we have something to work with and demonstrate how this works. Now we're going to start off by adding a empty to our player. We'll call this UI camera. And this will have a camera And well, let's start off with the camera actually. So we need to position this so that it faces our player. There we go. And yeah, it's about right. We have our full player. I'm going to rotate this a bit. There we go. And there we have it. Now I'm going to add a light here. And the types of lights you might have might be different depending on the render pipeline you're using. I'm just going to use a spotlight. Drag it out of the camera and we're going to focus this on our player. So something like this. And when we preview, we see that we have our full character displayed. Now, that might be a bit much. Something like this. There we go. I'm going to change the intensity just a tiny bit. Let's make it half or about half. And again, these values will be different depending on the render pipeline you're using. So keep that in mind. But something like this will work. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to our interface, user interface. And yeah, it depends on what you're using. I'm just using the default one I use for my tutorial so far. And it's not about design here. It's about functionality. Obviously, it should be placed somewhere else than where I put it in the intro, but I'd have to reorganize all of this and I'm not going to do that right now. So in our pause menu, I'm going to add it to just my inventory. Again, you can add it wherever you want in your inter user interface, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to add a raw image. Now this will display the character. So I'm just going to drag it here, there we go, and call it display character, perfect. And next up, well, let's remove these. Next up in a folder of your choosing, we are going to add a render texture. So render texture, I'm going to call this display character as well. Again, name doesn't really matter, it doesn't even have to be the same. It's just so we have something to we can find. I'm not sure why there are two. Might have left it there. So here we have our raw image and I'm going to add our render texture here on top of it. There we go. Now with our camera, we're going to do the same. So camera, and we're going to add our render texture to this as well. And there we have our character already. 
So that's pretty cool. It's already in our UI. It's real time. So that's really good. But obviously things aren't all that easy. So there's a couple of things we'll need to change. Now camera has different options depending on the render pipeline you're using but color will always be there and that's what we need to do as well so black is definitely what i'd recommend using if you're using the built-in render pipeline and then you can literally even set the alpha to transparency and the background will be transparent which is really cool unfortunately for the unlucky few that use HCRP, things are not as easy. When are they ever? So I'm going to just keep it gray for now. There we go. Now you will see that we still see our terrain and that's something we don't want to see. So we will do some filtering options. Now the way we approach this is with the culling mask. So right now I'm going to set everything to nothing and well we'll see nothing so really straightforward as the name suggests now we're going to go to our player and we need to make sure that the player character component so that actually displays the model has a layer selected so i'm going to use player here because it's fitting and i'm going to make sure that my terrain so the one we see below is actually called terrain now, if you're using the terrain creator uh, tool from Unity, it will do this by default. If you don't, then, you know, make a layer if you don't have it and set it to terrain. Now, the armor that automatically equips will be marked as default. So make sure that if there are things you don't want to see, that they have their own layers instead of using default. It's easier than to figure out how to change the armor. Now let's go back to our 2D view. And on our camera, we are going to change calling mask to player and to, where is it? Uh, default, there we go. So default and player are tagged. Now, as you can see, lighting is something you need to work with a bit just to make sure it works right for you. And if you are lucky enough that you are not using HDRP or URP, you can completely make the tra uh, background transparent. For some reason, even though it's in there, it doesn't seem to do anything at all for HDRP. So hopefully they'll add that option soon because it honestly annoys me. So yeah, there we go. Character is displayed we're all good now the problem with this is that it would by default obviously have all of these lights enabled that's not something we want so what we're going to do here is we're going to disable our UI camera here and we are going to go to the trigger that allows us to open up the menu so whatever trigger and button you have so for me it's on the user interface when I press escape it opens up the pause menu and disables the player UI. Now I'm going to add some things here. So I'm going to be adding, well, duplicating this one and make sure our UI camera group is a part of that. So this by default is disabled and it will be enabled once, once we press this button. Now, if I'm going to hit play, you will see it works, but you also see the limitations. So let's give this a go. There we go. Oh, let's make sure this is on. So here we have it in our inventory. Forgot to turn those off, but it doesn't matter. And it's all here. If we open this up and it equips and we're all good so the basics all work now the light stays on so that's something we need to fix as well and what actually happens if we run so for example I'm running I press escape and this is our pose 
Now, if you like that, then that's completely fine. But I prefer not having this personally. So I haven't found the ideal way to address this, but I found a way to address this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a change property. Player is controllable, turned off. Going to look for state. Going to add a reset state. And I'm going to add a small weight of 0 0.1. And we're going to put that above change time scale. Now, we need to make sure all of this gets, well, inverted if you want. So let's copy this over. And in our pause menu, let's go to our resume button. There we go. And in these actions, we need to make sure that we add the action of controllable. There we go. Don't know what that is. And <coughs> we're going to add a, um, well, we can just duplicate this one really. And we're going to add that UI camera to here so that will be disabled. Now we're going to give this another go and I'm going to make sure that all of this is turned off so it actually functions the way it should. There we go. So no light in our face. Let's pick up that armor and yeah, let's actually run first. So, well, that didn't work. I forgot to turn it on the proper way. So where is resume? And controllable needs to be on, of course. Perfect, so going to pick up our armor, I'm going to run and hit escape. And as you can see, his state resets. So now when we go to inventory, we have him in the reset state. We can equip our armor and yeah, perfect. So that's it really, that's all you need to do. So really simple but really cool i personally really like having something like this in my inventory ui so hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit like and subscribe and i will see you next time